G'day. It's the Bud Smart here, and I'm whispering. Welcome to the ASMR channel on this. Fuck, really we'll end up shouting, though, as we always do. I thought that it'd be very fun if I could uh, make people nice and hot. Should do the first five minutes in full ASMR. I will. I will. I will. What about those vegans? Oh, vegans. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome <gasps> to the Mum and Dad Show, episode number 450, probably 57, I think it is. 57, 57 yeah. yeah. Uh, Dickie, wow. welcome to the show. Thank you, darling. Thank Hello. you for having me. Hello, in wife. Um, Thanks for allowing me downstairs. No worries, bye. Uh, that's a big water bottle. You got a big shoulder. You got one of those big water bottle, big ass, <laughs> <laughs> big looter. big brain. What um, what? How many looters are we talking? I think it's two liters. It says it on the back. Does it? <laughs> yeah, give it the old flipper Uh, yeah, two liters. Two liters. Go me. How many ounces is that, babe? It says ounces next. To oh, it. I was like, why are you asking me? 64. I don't. You know, I don't know math, maths, mouse, mouths. I don't know maths. Hey, um, Dicky. Fun fact. Please. Failed every math test I ever did. Continue. I actually went through my uh, year 12 results the other day. They're not that bad. Oh. I actually got the highest score in my family, and my brothers are all, like, particularly Jonas thinks he's hot shit. Pfft, out did you, brah? Did you get an ATAR? I got an ATAR, yeah. I got, uh, which is your university admissions score based on what degrees you can get into. I think I was like 64 or something. Not you, bad. What'd you get? Oh, I didn't get one. I dropped out. <laughs> Same. When did you drop out? <laughs> right, I started year twelve. Because I, I went to um, I went to a Catholic school. Right, but I'm not Catholic. But um, so yeah, to get your ATAR, you, you had to get no, fucked by one of the priests. No, the fir- first day, first day of my of year twelve, I rocked up with a bit of a stubble, like for my mustache, and they tried to force me into the office to shave my face with the principal. They bought oh, cold naked, <laughs> naked. Jesus, you got to get in there and kiss the shave principal your face with that face. You get butt fucked. Um, <laughs> Caleb wanted to bring up something. Uh, very interesting, Claire. Go. Uh, fuck. K Dog, what was it? Uh, what do you want to bring up? Um, if you can remember. It was about Instagram comments. Oh, fuck. The, oh. the, the um, breastfeeding breeding. How good's that? Can we, can we bring that up? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, bring that up, Jamie. The, t- the TV's off, by the way. That's the yeah. Rogan thing, right? Bring, bring, that, up, bring that up, Jamie. That's what he says. Um, so, uh, Tommy Tippy, which is a product we use, or a brand we use for a lot of things, they make some good hey, products. Pepper. Wait, can we show you titties on. Uh, Fucking oath we can. <laughs> no. No, we can't. No, you can't. <laughs> well, Tommy so Titty what you, can. What do you want me to pull up? Tommy <laughs> Titty can. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Don't pull it up. I'll pull um, Isaac hey, heads can't. in front of the nipples. <laughs> so, so well, you can you can censor it if you want. Oh, yeah, I'll do just make idea. sure just make sure you do. <laughs> so Tommy Tippy, you know they make all the the bottles for babies, the Great sterilizers. Bottles. Yeah, mm. although Addy doesn't like them, so we not got, anymore. We, we don't them. use them anymore. We bought so many too. Um, anyway, so Tommy Tippy has an Instagram page, as every brand has an Instagram page, mm. and they're very pro. Um, which I thought was strange. They were pro breastfeeding. I'll just pop it up because I can't find it. Well, you got to be pro breastfeeding. I'm pro breastfeeding. No, too. no, but why would Tommy Tippy be pro? But breastfeeding, People they put sell breast bottles. in the bottle still that when is, they're uh, pumping. Very true, very shades. I think it's because it was Breastfeeding Awareness Month or week. No, they don't get a month. Only the gays get a month. Why, it's a week. Why, do the, why does anyone need an awareness about breastfeeding? We're oh, all very aware of it. Oh, look, I, I, ta- I take this. my hat off to the You're not wearing a hat, girl. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, Dickie. Go no, on. Breastfeeding is intense. <sighs> it's not just, you know, a couple of times a day. It's not easy. constant throughout well the done. day. Well done. Well, yeah, if However, got, if your titties are ruined, congratulations. Um, but this, this, and I'm not, I'm not against breastfeeding, not at all. I no. was breastfed, and look at me, I am delightful. But um, and I've never been closer to my mum. Uh, <laughs> but poor Kristen. But the um, there's this thing going on on social media at the moment where women who are breastfeeding just it, like show their tits. Yeah. On social media, I don't know, and they get likes because of it. So the the Tommy Tippy, and we won't be able to show it, but Tommy no. Tippy put out. How would you describe this woman? Because you came across her, um, heavily tattooed, alternative looking mama, which is great, extremely tattooed, but covered in tats. Instead of it showing her just breastfeeding her baby, just tits. It was just, <laughs> just boobs, tits. wasn't it? It was uh, just nipples and, and baby. You scroll through, there's heaps. Of, there's yeah, everyone's doing it. Yeah, I don't know. It's I was just, <laughs> I just found it a bit. Like I think it's great to show breastfeeding this and tips and uh, tits, <laughs> like all that stuff. But I just thought, isn't it a bit much showing off both nipples when you're breastfeeding? Like well, I, I know yeah. that a lot of people say, how dare you? That's shaming and that's breastfeeding shaming and woman shaming and you're a woman. And yeah, I think breastfeeding is great. I couldn't personally do it. 
However, I think it's wonderful if you can, and I, I wanted to badly. But I just think if you're going to sit there on Instagram with both tits out, you're going to get a little bit of heat not, because not be- everyone's as progressive as some of the Instagram mums. They're not doing it to show that they're breastfeeding. They're doing it to get attention. That's what I can't think 100% too. they are. Why else would you have both there's tits a difference. Like there's, there's And then take a photo of it yes. with a professional camera. Yes, there's some posts, like I shared one today, and it was just a lady breastfeeding her baby, just showing the top of her boob, and she had a shirt on covered, and it was just her... You know, beautiful. Film it if you want to. I have no worries about it's that. It's still all. a weird thing to post. But I don't take photos of Addy when I'm feeding him. With your bottle. <laughs> With my bottle, yeah. No, nah, fair nipple. enough. I just think if you're going to show like a, a full nipple without a baby attached to it, to me it's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the thing. Because right? I, I could have potentially covered up my right eye and used that as pornography. You did. I saw you looking at it. You're sick like fuck. A po- like a pirate. I just think if you don't have a baby attached to the nipple, I'm sorry, it's sexual. Yeah, but well. That's how okay. I view let, it. And let, I know, you know, feel free to disagree with me in the let, comments. The I know comment you will. sections get me pretty brutal this let, week. It will. <laughs> let me play, what's, what's this Devil's phrase? Advocate. No, no, feminist cunt. Um. <laughs> Dye your hair blue, mate. Women's, what, why are women's breasts sexual when men have nipples? Because they're not boobs. Exactly. Men will fight wars over boobs. No oh. one cares about male nipples. And this is, and you know what? I'd like to also say. Please say it. <laughs> shout out to the breastfeeding pumping mothers shout and the bottle to, feeding formula mummers. Shout out to all you Shout out to titties. the dads. Everyone's great. Nah, I just think dads, if you've got suck. both your nips out on Instagram, you're going to get a bit of flack about it because it's and just a bit inappropriate. Because you're just doing it for attention. You're well, doing it for, for, as the kids it's would sexualizing say, clout. I don't know. I just feel like it was sort of sexualizing. Why a are we sexualizing moment? feeding your child? Like if well, you feed your child, fucking their argument would be that we're sexualizing it. Okay, we'll put your tit away, and I won't. Yeah, I don't know. Because see, it's funny because like we have friends that breastfeed, and that's great, and you can get your boob out and everything. You're feeding the baby, but they don't take both tits out. <laughs> just sit there with one, just laying dormant, well, well, this... going hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you feed with one, you keep the other. It's like going to the urinal as a man and pulling your pants all the way down. <laughs> <Yes>. Straight the <laughs> ankles. <laughs> and then taking a photo of it and going, why are you making this sexual? I'm going to the toilet. It's just a bit, I don't And I, I feel really awkward saying that because I, I know I'm a lady and a, and a mum, but I just, I found it, I said it as a joke too. Like I don't have anything against whatever, what other people want to do, but I saw it and I just had this urge and I was like, what the fuck, Tommy Tippy? And I just wrote, what the fuck, ha, ha, ha. And it got like 80 likes. And then you told me to write Tommy Tippy. <laughs> so I also did that. Did you get any flack in the comments? I did. There was some. There was one woman who was actually quite nasty because I was clearly joking, mm. um, which you can't fucking do either. Oh. And this one was like, "Little Dixon's just bit bitter because she couldn't breastfeed." And Ooh. I was like, "Oh, that's a bit hurtful. That's yep. a bit nasty, isn't it?" It is. But nasty, also. But- I will say I commented on it, so if she wants to come at me, she can because I had a crack and laughed at it. So it, that's just what the internet is. Well, but I, it was pretty funny that this woman who's shaming me for shaming another woman then shamed me. But I wasn't shaming the woman; I, I shamed the page. I do enough shaming you because you didn't breastfeed. I that's pour right. a gallon of milk over your head every morning just to remind you that you <laughs> and failed booms as on a top. mother. <laughs> and look at Atticus; he's wasting away. It's crazy how much not breastfeeding your child, no matter how. Uh, whatever your reasons or whether you just don't want to do it or if it didn't work or you it was too hard, it, it does affect you. It's weird. I never thought that it would, but I still have days where I feel really, really like like I've failed because I haven't been breastfeeding him. And and there's moments. So I, I am very envious of the mums that breastfeed, but I just thought it was a bit hurtful for some woman to go, you're just bit. And I was like, no, I'm not. I support everyone for breastfeeding. I just think, do you need both nipples out in a on the internet or at a cafe, both breasts exposed? You don't. You do it for attention. I mm. just think that's a bit weird. Is it about the baby or is it about you showing off your rig? It's about getting Instagram likes. That's, and then you get yeah. attention and then, it, then people go, why are you doing that for attention? You go, it's not about attention. <laughs> I think it it's is. It's about proving that all women are worthy of their big old bitties. And yeah, go for it. But. Don't have both there. Yeah, dual wielding is a bit a bit strange. Is it like a is dual it, is it an, wielding? Yes, dual wielding that's the kids, it? Is it like an invite, like like a school bubbler? It's like my, kid, my kids at it. Like yeah, feel free. Can can somebody please take this other breast? I just um, think it's a bit a bit. It's not very. And I know people come for me with this too. But uh-oh. another lady commented. I just don't think it was very um classy. I think if maybe if you're around just a group of girls at like a mum's group and you just want to be like fuck it, I want my tits out. They hurt. 
go for it. But if you're at a cafe and there's like dads and grandpas and little kids everywhere and you've got both your tits out, I just think it's a bit off. People, okay, so this is going to be a heated comment section. Well, when dudes go, wow. when dudes back to dudes weeing, right? You go to the urinal. Mm. You take your willy out, you do your business. You don't pull it's it out. It's not the same though because you don't – well, I hope. I hope none of you men feed anything with – But I will say it's not the same though because no, you're know, not doing anything but, for but a baby is, with it. But for men, boobs are like – they're the genitals. They're for, for men. Sorry, for men when they see a female. They're both. Breast, That's how I see it. They right? are super happy. Yeah, it's sexual, but it's also a tool to feed a baby. That's and isn't it okay to think that it's both? Yeah, I think women should it's be both. Um, locked up oh, personally. God. All of them. I'd love to be locked up in home. Lockdown, oh. I'm against the lockdowns, but fuck, it was a good time. It was, it was fun. Fucking loved staying I at home. Great time. Oh. Copping, copping 750 large a week. Oh, Ooh. nice. Play, Big cash. Playing the Xbox with the oh, boys. How it? good was it? I was stressed throughout it because I've got a new stress Uh-oh. in my life and I wanted to bring this up on the podcast. Is this my tissues? No, but that reminds me. <laughs> We need an intervention with this Jesus. woman that I've this married. This non-breastfeeding this fucking This non-binary, woman. non-breastfeeding. You have at least 20 times since we have been together oh. over the last decade decided in your what? infinite wisdom what? to put w- tissues in the washing machine. Oh, the tissues, right. Oh. I thought this was another topic. I was like, uh, what have I done now? Okay. Because you are a 1,000 years old and you tuck the tissues up your sleeve. I don't think that's that weird. This neat, yes, you've got boogers on it and you throw it up there like you're keeping it for a rainy day. It's got to stop. Mate, I grew up in a household that didn't have golden toilet paper. You lived in like no, I know. the <laughs> richest <laughs> suburb <laughs> in Newcastle. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, Eddie. Your mother's No, no, I lived, I lived fine. But my joke was that, you know, I just think if you do one little blow, you can put the tissue up your arm for the next blow and then throw it out. Does that go the same for like... Toilet paper? Yes. <laughs> You're damn right it does. One wipe and keep it for Tampons later. Tampons too. Oh, what about jizz socks? I wouldn't know. Yeah, I never did the jizz sock thing. That's fucking that revolting. Caleb would have. Let's shame them. Shame. Shame every man shame. and every woman. I think we should shame everyone for everything. Everyone should be shamed. I shame myself daily. Mm-hmm. Good. The things we all do, we're all fucking horrendous. Yeah, so the tissues have got to stop, otherwise Addie and I are going to have to... It is the one thing know. we like disagree on heavily. Of course like, we, of course Isaac we, comes out and he'll look at me... Of course we disagree me, on it. How can you agree like, on it? There's more tissues in the wash, and I'm just like, I'm sorry. I'm with Isaac on this one. That's a bit fucking weird. Oh, it's <laughs> just fuck. Maybe it's just... Maybe it's mum's fault. Because yep. she did it, so I just did it. Because no, it's fine. Like, it's fine that you have them up there. It's just that I'll never they, take them out because I don't remember. I'm sorry. Well, of course <laughs> you're going to forget about it. Who's who, oh my god, I've got a tissue in my arm. <laughs> Quick, I better take it out. But I no, always I'm have a runny that. nose, so I always need one on hand. It's because you, you're a coke addict. Oh, and I used to a take mother, a hanky to school, and I got picked on for it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you all. <laughs> I wish you take a hanky to our house. Well, do you want me to get a hanky? Yeah, the big actually. blue bars. Actually, I do. I think that's more gross. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get a vote in the comment section. Should Claire get a hanky or not? Han- a, a vote, comment Fuck hanky all. if you think hanky or comment tissue if you think tissue. Or just write tits for the lols. Or tits, <laughs> yeah. If, you can, if you're undecided of what you want Claire to do, <laughs> if you want her to do a big bush oyster, you, you're not good at them, but you get them done. I actually saw a guy do one the other day. We it was did it so at Glendale. Yeah, uh, he was just walking yeah, along, and that he just was gross. so a bush, a bush oyster, or a bush hanky. Is a bush oyster and a bush hanky the same thing? I Can never knew what that? any of it was till I met you. <laughs> a bush hanky is where you basically go, you put a finger over your nostril, one nostril, and you blow as hard as you can, and that blows your nose. Well, that's a flower. Oh, it's a flower. It's a pretty flower. <laughs> Tommy Tippy advert. Yeah. Oh. So bush oyster and bush hanky. Bush oyster hang a slang. Mm. Slang. Uh, you need to Ooh, go. Ooh, that's a oh. testicle. What? <laughs> um, a bull's testicle when cooked and eaten. Maybe you have oh. uh, Is this a footy term, though? Oh, I think I am. I, oh, fuck. How have I embarrassing. done this? You've been saying the wrong thing for a bit. So a bush, a bush, um, bush hanky. I'm, I'm what does good on you mean? Someone Googled. Bush hanky is what I'm talking about. A bush oyster is a, yeah, a testicle. Ah, uh, here we go. Bush hanky is where you block one nostril with your thumb yeah, and blow it out. 
um, with the force of a raging hormonal monkey on crack to eject the contents of the other nostril. So I try to teach Claire how to do this because sometimes you need a tissue and we don't have one on hand. And Which is why I keep them up my sleeve. Glad you added sleeve. Um, we, you, you don't commit to it enough, I feel. I feel that's the issue. You don't, you know, drive enough force out of your nostril to fire that little thing onto the ground. Perhaps it's not a big enough opening. Are you saying I've got a big opening? I'm oh, sorry, joking. <laughs> I don't You've have, got a nice nose. My nostrils are a little bit, I don't know, are no, they big they're or not? not. You're lovely nostrils. I've never really noticed. But no, I don't like the bush oyster. Hanky. You don't like testicles? I don't like testicles. I like tissues. <laughs> Something that stresses me out a lot other than tissues is uh, the recycling bin. Have we spoken about this? I've spoken about this on the podcast before. Every week or every second week our recycling bin goes and it's always chock a block. You're turning more it's and more into full. a type A personality. The What's older a type you get? A personality? Do you keep throwing around? <laughs> <laughs> what is a type of... I, just, I want to see what comes up and then I'll... I'll check that I've said the right thing. Oh, shit. Sure. Type A is a real piece of shit. <laughs> no, no, no. Type A. A crybaby. Oh, someone shit. who jumps up and down even if she doesn't get if he doesn't get What do you mean I'm a type? <laughs> Maybe just type A in Google. I definitely don't mean that you're a crybaby. I'm sorry. Although I am. I thought type A meant you're a bit anal about things. I am crying about a, um, what does it say? Urgency, impatience. Uh, uh, high status conscious, impatient, anxious, yeah. proactive. That's me. Yeah, I made it. Concerned <laughs> on time management. Yes. yes. So for me, every second week, it is you know paramount that I get all of the recyclables in the bin, and I'm. It's usually full after a week. So that and other, emptying the lint trap in the dry is one of his favourites. But that's wanna, super cute. Do you want to start a fire, you lunatic? No, I love that you do it. I think it's so sweet. You got to do it. It's got to be done. It must be done. I just love the joy it brings you when you do it. It gets me ready for the week. No, but like getting all the recyclables in there and then I get in the bin to squash it down. Mm. And then often people in the street go, oh, there he's in the bin again. We <laughs> order some stuff. Since having adding oh the God, amount of cash boxes. I spend oh, I know. on Amazon is deplorable. A lot of other people's wives and girlfriends, they'll go and buy like, you know, all the fancy bits and bobs, a bit of Bulgari. I don't know what Bulgari? that is. Bit of bolognese. <laughs> I've got my UFC shirt on. Yeah, Rob, shout out to Robert Whittaker. Uh, Fuck, he's nice. He's nice. Now, you, what were we talking about? Fucking, you were shaming um, me about some went, fucking you, thing. You went from bins to fucking Amazon. <laughs> yeah, well, no, with the, all the recycling comes yeah. from Amazon because Claire ah. consistently buys Atticus something new every single day, and that's fine. I don't care. What I was saying was a lot of other people's uh, wives and girlfriends or even husbands will spend money on shit they Clothes. don't need. Clothes and, you know, whatever. We stuff. spend all of our money on him, which I like. Mm. Oh, I do too. We built him a toy room. Did you tell yeah. the people about the toy room? We did last time. We got a toy room for him. It's very nice. We're doing it a little bit Montessori vibes, if you know, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's super relaxing. It's nice. I like it. I wanted to send um, Caleb something here. Oh. Um. It's the TikTok. Oh, beep, beep. Um, TikTok for what? And I want Claire to watch it. Oh. My neck's so sore. See oh, that, that TikTok there? Claire, can you watch this and Claire. tell me your thoughts immediately? What? No. no. The account's private. Who is it? Oh, it was these Indian guys doing something funny. I can't even remember. Well, if it's anything racial, I don't want to watch it. Oh. oh. That's new. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why is that? You don't like the Indians? I have That's no ridiculous. feelings about anything. <laughs> oh, well. <sighs> that sucks. We had what a tough, was it? I can't remember. They were doing something weird. Oh, damn. Um, sorry. We had a tough week last week. We went up and uh, did a show in Rutherford. Just to, I did a five or ten minute spot just to do some new material. And regrettably, the new material did not do well. Um, it wasn't his crowd. Yeah, it was a lot of older women and stuff. Like, but that's fine. There's a lot of dudes there too. Oh. The dudes laughed and the women, as usual, did not. The, the, the bit was fine. <laughs> the bit was fine. It just needs to be tighter. But I just, I fucked up on it. It was a whole, it was a whole new bit. And I think I got home and I rewrote it and stuff. And I think it, I think it'll come good eventually by the time we tour uh, in November. But it's funny to go back to doing new material because I did that last show for two years because of COVID. It was perfect. Uh, it's almost like... You know, you're starting a new career sort of thing because I just am not used to doing new material anymore. So mm. it's a bit of a, a bit of a learning curve, but 
It, it you know? would be quite soul destroying, I imagine, actually, because you go from having something nailed perfect and everyone's just roaring with laughter, oh, it's scary. and then you start from the beginning and it's still a bit clunky. Mm. Did you get sick of doing the same one though? Yeah, I don't know how musos do it. Yeah, mm, that, that's like, like Wolf Mother. Oh. oh, imagine going on stage and doing the same that song poor guy. over and over and he's over. He's Joker again. in the sea, <laughs> and his face when he's performing. Oh, he just hates it. It would, hair it would drag you down. Um, oh. And this is probably why bands break up all the time because they're not doing any new songs. Mm. Yeah. So that then that's a that's a tough one for musos. Like they've only got like you know two albums that people oh, ever enjoy. How good was Jet? Jet was good, but they, like Elton John, he did. Like a few different albums, and he did too many albums. Obviously, he's still touring, but he did hasn't released new music since Ghetto Gospel, which was a good song. You know, Ghetto Ghetto Gospel. Yeah. You don't know Ghetto Gospel? Mate, I know Rocket Man. That's it. <laughs> so Ghetto Gospel was a um, he featured on a Tupac track. <sighs> Tupac after Tupac was dead. Who shot you? That's that's Biggie. <laughs> Jesus, that's Claire. Biggie. That's Claire Mama can, Dickie. You know Tupac, and you know I do. It's Biggie. Yeah. Yeah. But you, you're you're much well ver- more versed than anyone I know on rap music, and you I made am. that. Oh, this is rap music. I thought we were still talking about Elton John. <laughs> well, two oh, packs. I know my yeah. rap music. Yeah, you do. Um, what are you doing, Atticus? Stop maneuvering. So yeah. Um, ooh. Oh, he's so oh, back to sleep, little boy. <laughs> oh, he's a beautiful little boy. I know what he's dreaming about. Well, that's another thing. What do babies dream about? Big fat titties. Tommy, Tommy titties. <laughs> Tommy titties. Tommy titties. Tommy titties. Tommy titties. <laughs> Tommy titties. <laughs> So perfect. You're a bit mad the other week, Claire. This is back to more parenting stuff. No, it's not bad. You were mad at people who assume that the mother is the default parent? Oh, yes. I forgot we were going to talk about this. Go ahead. We really need to talk about what we're going to talk about on the show beforehand because every time you bring something up, I'm like, Sorry, what I've is got, it? I've got it all here. I've, <laughs> I've been writing these notes down for a couple of days. Yes. There was, what was it on? Was it on that mums group that I talk about in here all the time? Yeah, I think so. And just in general, like when people talk um, and there's a lot of uh, videos on Instagram and it's like when you're the default parent mm-hmm. and it's always the mum. Yeah, that is a weird thing. And I guess maybe it just comes from like the last, you know, however many years of the dad. It's probably being, true. Being the worker and the mum staying at home now. And that that is reality for a number of reasons. Obviously, mothers provide the milk and they are mm. probably the better caregivers and all those type mm-hmm. of things. Um, in And a lot of guys suck. And a lot of guys suck. But I think However. that it's unfair to assume mm. that um, the dad is dodgy. That's what I thought. With all the, the wokeness slob. floating around these days, yeah. I thought that's a bit shit to say because most dads in our age bracket that I know are actually beautiful dads and I would say are pretty 50-50. I think every, if not more, every generation they become more 50 50, you know? Yes. Like, like, so Claire will, Claire Claire and I will uh, take turns with like the cleaning or the I'll I'll cook and she'll clean up and, or we'll take Addie for an hour or two hours each. And I, we job share. We do. We fucking job share, (laughs) don't we? Like, I take Addie, I feed him, I sleep him, and then Claire takes Addie, she feeds him, she sleeps him, she plays. And shifts. We do it in shifts, and, yeah. and and then and this is only when we're not doing other things. Otherwise, mm. we, we we play with him together, obviously. Mm. But like, um, you know, when when he was getting up at all hours of the night, mm-hmm. I'd get up with him. Then you'd get up with him. Mm-hmm. Then I'd get up with him. And Claire is not a morning person. I don't mind that. Barely much. a person. It's barely a person. So <laughs> I get up early, and then she comes over, takes over, and I go and do all the work and stuff. Mm-hmm. Not all the work, and but the I work. I just sit down. S- were you and looking do after it? Fuck all. I'm doing the work that you can't do. The breadwinner. No, making the fucking YouTube videos. Making the bacon. Where I'm the fucking dude. <laughs> All right, well, you can make the YouTube videos. Go, go, go ladies and gentlemen, little dookie here. Butterfield's out this week. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> but I just think it's unfair to assume that dads are just shit. And I think, I that's, think the, it is that's the attitude across the wider plane. Yes. I don't like it at all. I think it's – these days I just think it's a little bit closed-minded, seeing mm. as you can choose to be a fucking dog if you want to or something. But oof, apparently oof. all dads are shit and women are the fucking – I just don't think they are anymore. Because some people have said um, to you, like, if I'm if I'm looking after Addie and you're out doing whatever, they're like, oh. The thing that really gets me, grinds my gears, mm. is this really gross, like, football 
tradie culture and of that's blokes. Where, yeah, yeah. I hate it too. That are stunned when Isaac wants to hang out with Atticus and myself as a family at things. And it's not just, mm. can't yeah. you leave the kid with your missus, mate? I think we talked about this last week. Yes. It was like, like as soon as you get with your missus, it's just like you, you got to get away from him. Like yeah. It's just like yeah. They got this, it uh, it yeah. is a shit attitude. Like, I feel like saying to these guys, is everything okay? Are you okay at home? Nah. I, like I think what's going on? Are you that miserable that you can't comprehend that a husband and wife genuinely are best friends? They don't because they're not, they've never seen it before. They don't understand it. I hate um, it. And I saw that when I was younger, when I, when I started playing footy, all the boys who had missus all that mm. married, they were like, God, the fucking missus. And it's just so stereotypical of what, mm. what, how men speak. And God, that makes me sad. And it's also it also flows into women too where they're like, oh, we've got to, you know. I've got to get home. My husband's looking after the kid. I, yeah, I can't. I've got to get there. They don't trust their husband. So it goes I'll, both I'll ways. I'll go to the – I do the shopping. He can't he do can't that. He can't do that. I, no. I, like, like they're what are you just talking about? stupid. I think it's just – I don't know how we get away from it too. Like it seems to be ingrained very deeply into everything Case by do. case, isn't it? But I just noticed a lot more on Instagram that it's very much when you're the um, primary caregiver and it's like all these – and they're quite funny little videos and stuff, but I just think the message behind the video is a little bit dark because it's sort of implying that oh, most men are useless. And there's a lot of useless men and out there. a lot there, of them are, but I just think these the days... The blokes having a go. It's, at, it's at least in our circle of friends, I think most guys are really trying. And in our group of friends, I actually think, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think most of the blokes are the cooks. Yeah. Caleb, do you cook? I cook at home. I'm curious shit. <laughs> so things like that, like most yeah. of our mates are the same and the hubbies cook and the women clean. Which if you asked about our parents... Yep. My dad didn't cook. No. Did yours? He managed. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jeff. Good on you, Jeff. No, Cooking dad up. Dad did 50-50. I will always say that. He dad did. always threatened to cook goulash. Your dad with mm. the goulash. He always like, yeah, I'll cook up some goulash. Bless his heart. Uh, but no, it was it was not 50-50. No. Dad was the breadwinner and mum was... I hate that term. Dad was the croissant yeah. winner. And, and, you know, that's just how it was for, for our family. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a it, gross term. Just say that this one works and this one works at home. Because it all, because it, it it sort of means that they're the better person. Yeah, it sounds like the other person's just not Shit doing out. anything. But you're at home busting your ass looking yeah. after a baby all day. Fuck. Or, or multiple babies, oh. which is even harder. I know we've brought this up on the potty before too, but the... Single parents, oh. fucking well done. Where were we the other day where there was someone with multitude of kids and we were like, fuck that. Oh, oh. We were walking and we yeah, saw yeah, yeah. a mum and the kids just kept following. There mm. was one on a little scooter. She had <laughs> one on her and then there were like three floating around and two fucking dogs and we just looked at each other and we're like. <gasps> and even the other day we were looking after our neighbour's son mm. and uh, Addy kicked off so I had to take him somewhere. Mm-hmm. We had one each. Yeah, and, and that's what most families go yes. through. And then you have um, it, or another, which, you don't which see is each great other. for some people and I think hats off to you. I'm not shaming anyone. You're not that. wearing a <laughs> But for us personally, one's the way to go. But, I, yeah, it's just I couldn't do it. I've got a way to get back at you, missus, though. I do this to Claire all the time. I spoke about it on the Cancer Me Now podcast back in the day mm-hmm. and we started to get a bit of a trend going. But to the like gentleman that. here listening to this, ladies, switch off. That was quick. <laughs> so what you're going to do when you get home is you're going to go, you're going to find your girlfriend, your wife or your partner's phone. Girls, oh. you can do this too, actually. let's We're an equal opportunity employer here. Oh. We're going to employ these people. I want you to go into their phone and look up the most disgusting porn that you can think of. All right? I've it's only funny once. <laughs> says fucking you. <laughs> the tissue queen herself. <laughs> like, for example, no, funny, I, right. I looked up uh, old Asian butthole. Old Asian granny butthole <laughs> on Claire's phone. And then you just it's look it up. background. <laughs> You just look it up uh, and you just leave it there. Big Black Dicks has been my favourite. Big Black Dicks is the other one that I do. So what I want you to do is I want you to do that and then I want you to try and film their reaction and I want you to send it into Claire or I on Instagram. And we'll That's play a funny it. idea. We'll play it on the show next yeah, week. Sweet. I like that. It is so much fun. It is so much fucking fun. 
just to watch Claire walk back from a big bog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's true. And open a phone and she just gets hit in the face with a giant butthole or dick. This smashed crab loves it. Big smashed crab dicky absolutely loves it. So Thank you for the people that were nice to me in the comments the other week about me. I can't believe you were called a smashed, a smashed crab. crab. Some people were quite nice about it and someone said I was a greyhound, so thank you. You're perfect. Thank you. Um, apparently I'm not perfect though. and I, You're I, perfect. I, apparently I'm not uh, because I had a... Um, Who had a go at you? Well, I had a, well, it wasn't a go. This time. There was a plastic surgeon that reached out to me oh. from Turkey saying, hey, mate, uh, we'd love to have you over and uh, sort your hairline out. He <laughs> 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 emailed me twice. Oh. I was shattered. I couldn't believe it. Get some veneers next. I don't want veneers and I don't want hair plugs. Please don't. I'm happy with just going bald. That's right. I don't give a shit. Everything is beautiful. Like, I'm, I've got a beard. Beard makes up for it. Look yeah. at Lizzo's getting sued. Good. That just popped into my head then. So she's getting sued by all these uh, backup dancers. Isn't that or, interesting? Or, or back fat, as I call them. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Addy. Board breakers. Uh, the board, the floor breakers. Um <laughs> Because she uh, allegedly sexually assaulted or sexually harassed one of them uh, or a couple of them by making them eat a banana out of the, the vagina of a stripper in Amsterdam. Oh. Yeah, great way to get your potassium. Yeah. And also criticise one of their weights, which is... For not being big enough? Not doing small. too big or being out uh, uh, over, not, oh, not fit or, or whatever. Hot kettle. I'm glad you said pot calling the clitoral black. I'm <laughs> glad you didn't say that. Oh, I didn't say it. I did. Um, Not a fan yeah, of Lizzo at the best nah, of times. She's a fucking, she's a, you know what she is? She's a fucking pretender. I think she's a She carries, toxic. and and I knew, I fucking, anyone who carries on with this really progressive shit about, oh. They're usually oh, assholes. They're usually assholes. Same assholes. with people in real life. Yep. That 100%. go on about all this positivity and how fucking and woke and nice and kind they like are. Like Instagram people, oh. they're all like, yeah, you got to believe in you, you got to do, and then it's just bullshit. They don't live, they don't live by their words. They don't, yes. they don't actually live that in real life. They're just absolute liars. And yes. it seems to be, if these allegations are true, that Lizzo is full of Cake and shit. And yet old mate got cleared from that show you liked. Kevin Spacey? Yes. He got cleared um, whether or not there wasn't enough evidence or whatever. I wonder about that. It was weird that so many people came out. Mm. I don't know. It's so disappointing. If 11 fucking young boys came out and said, oh, Butterfield tried to have kissed me, you'd be like... They'd be oh. cheering. <laughs> you'd be like, oh, maybe... That man slipped me a bit of a... <laughs> <laughs> no, but I can confirm didn't do that. Did uh, not. Did not. But, yeah, I, you know, so Kevin Spacey gets off. Yeah. Not on these guys. <laughs> but Kevin Spacey gets off the charges and then Lizzo gets these charges or these allegations put against her. So it was a very interesting week. It was a bit a bit uh, flippity-floppity. Mm. Yes. Very good. We go to America soon. We are. We're going to America in two, three weeks. Oh, my God. We're going, we're going everywhere. We're going to Yosemite. That's we're living cool. the dream. I've been looking at um, all the things to do at, at Yosemite. Um, Not get eaten by bears. Well, apparently there aren't that many bear attacks there. So if you've been to Yosemite, oh. let us know what you what, what we can actually do uh, in in the Yosemite uh, because we are very interested. Poor Gabby Petito. Ah, uh, Gabby Petito. I wanted to talk about the vegan who starved to death, but I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to talk about that on this week's episode on or well, this week's video that we upload to the Little Buttsman channel. So let's wrap the podcast up and let's film that because All I right. want to talk about that with you. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks Beautiful. for joining us on the podcast. We'll see you next week. Oh, check us out on Spotify. Toodaloo, au revoir. Bye. Bye.